what is it? Catalina wine? Time to say goodbye. That's uh, Andre Bocelli. Hold on, hold on. Go, keep going. I don't, I don't know the Italian part. Can you keep? Time to, time to Alex say Stewart. goodbye. Can you bring us in with one you know? I, you can't, you can't like freestyle acapella. Like, uh, <laughs> freestyle. I don't know if you know much about uh, four hundred year old opera, but hold it's on, not on. really a piece. Pause. If I can, pause. All right. Look at him. You know now. He knows nothing about 400-year-old. Oh, yeah. Opera. That's I all, did, <laughs> that's look at all the stains do. on his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> it is crazy. This is my work shirt. It's pretty bad. Figaro. <laughs> what do you think about that? Figaro. I'm not going to give you the whole thing for free. <laughs> okay, that's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah, <laughs> dude, yeah. You got to go to the paywall for that. Somebody come get her. <laughs> <laughs> It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Can you do a, 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 a um, sipping on gin and juice? Sipping on gin and juice. I don't know. <laughs> I've got my mind on my money, money and my money, money on, on my, my mind. mind. All right. Well, we're doing it, fellas. Shake that ass on me. Shake <laughs> that ass on me. Come on, boy. Shake. Yeah. Sorry, guys, we, yeah. Tony, we went over this. We're too good. We're gonna get demonetized. We're too, yeah. Spotify's, Spotify's. Yeah, we, we're a big singing up. podcast. That's why we're glad we brought you on, Mr. Okay, Scotty. Okay, all right. Well, and it's good to have you here, dude. I just got back. Into, here. I just got back into town. Me too. I flew in. Uh, I got in at one a.m. Yeah, where'd you go? I was in uh, Little Rock, Arkansas. All weekend. Little Rock. Shout out to Little JJ. What were you doing there? Uh, I have uh, my side gig. I do uh, event videography and photography. Oh, nice. It's just like, all right. It's just like adult. No, Stuff? it's okay. not adults. Just making sure. Just making it's, sure. Uh, it's really weird. I, I, I mostly I film children's dance competitions. Oh, wow. That's oh, very, Little Rock. oh, they get niche. down in Little Rock. Hold on. Children's it's dance competitions. Chil- children's dance competitions. Were their parents fighting? Nice. And did you zoom oh, in? Oh, dude, I fight with parents all the time. You do? Yeah. Why? You got no you got no dog in the fight. Do you have a kid? Not about the dancing. Just, <laughs> dude, the, there was a whole show about these. It's called Dance, dance Moms. Moms. Brother. They're the Don't worst sleep people. On dance moms. They're the worst people in the world. Don't sleep on Dance Moms. I haven't watched much of it. But. It's I mean Don't sleep with them either. They're psycho. <laughs> Dance what? dads though. Dance dads. Dance. Well, no, yeah. they're the psycho ones for no, not intervening because they don't want to be there. Well, yeah, but you got to shut this down. So, what are you doing at these events? You got the big old. Is it a big camera? Oh, uh, we we <laughs> set it up on a tripod in the middle of the room, and we just kind of sit there and film it, and then I. Uh, so they of... fly you out from Austin to have you press a button. Yeah, yeah. What are That's, you doing? I mean, we've got That's great. Crazy. It's, well, doing? it's our gear, it's our camera, and our photos, and then we set up like a little. Station outside after each dance, the okay. kids can come out and look okay. through their pictures, and then their parents there we spend go. insane amounts of money. I just pictured you rolling up to the scene with the tripod and a oh, camera. And yeah, no, the right. the, the uh, companies that like host the events hire us; they're right. our clients. But it is crazy just how much money these parents are spending because they're like it's already a couple hundred bucks to sign their kids up to do this dance thing. Capitalism, baby. And then they're like, "Oh yeah, I'll, I'll shell out $300 for pictures of my kids." It's like What's the cheap sport, dude? What can you cuz I want what can you get your kid in? Everybody everything's so expensive. Pretty cheap. Yeah. I I wrestled growing up. Oh, basketball. You just need to some flat ground for that, right? Yeah. So you really need. Basketball should be cheap. I wonder um, if it is. Baseball's I mean, not. Baseball's expensive. Baseball's a price. And I think tennis football. is pretty cheap. Well, why is it only rich people then? Why is it only uh, rich people? Because it's fancy. Well, I suppose football. I feel like has a lot of hand me down stuff. Yeah, but the injury rate. Who are you, who are you playing football, on the gridiron man? gang, dude? <laughs> who are you playing with? <laughs> I feel that like... is true. I mean, in it, like high school football, I didn't have my own helmet. Yeah, and you had the leather I ones didn't... handed down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We had the rug, the rugby uh, brain buckets. <laughs> That's a weird rock. You, l- you do look like that for sure. Uh, dude, Ozzy, you Ozzy, look Ozzy. Like a nasty you look like, pitcher, you look like the guy that got a like a foul on him on the on the football game back in the day, and you're like, all right, we're going to go fisticuffs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey. Behind yeah. the horse trough, you and me, see? <laughs> put him up, put him up. <laughs> Show me a dokes. Yeah, I, uh, I'm i old fat. I mean, look, I'm going with the tuck today. I kinda, yeah, kinda, dude. That's the vibe I'm going and the, with. And the Dodgers hat, that's you, pretty cool. Huh? What do you know about that? How about it? I went I to love the Dodgers. I went to uh, Lake Tahoe for my trip. Ooh, oh, no, that's right. Yeah, no work. Snowboarding, Dude, right? Right off the plane. And God, I hope my girlfriend doesn't hear this, but I performed my first citizen's rest, fellas. Oh boy, really? Not really, but what happened was we went. This is insane. So we went to the grocery store because well, there was seven, uh, like twelve of us. This was for a bachelor party. Yeah, we were all on the same flight, Southwest. We get there. 
we're going to the grocery store to to gear up for the weekend for the for the Airbnb, right? Yeah, yeah. Beers, brats, all, everything. Gear up the essentials. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the old hair. <laughs> gotta, get, gotta get the old rubber band going. Yeah, yeah, you know, go. <laughs> Let's get it going, boys. Let's prime it. Get the spoon. But uh, we go in there. It's all normal. Great. You you lived in the mountains. Crazy oh, people. Yeah. Oh, Crazy incredible. people up in the mountains. Sometimes. And so here's the thing. I spot this guy in a wheelchair. Love not a it. not a wheelchair, sorry, a ruckus, a Walmart fat people ruckus. Oh, and, a rambler scooter. A rambler yeah. scoot. You Hell know, I mean, yeah. this guy could stand, but he chose not to. <laughs> yeah. So, and I and I look at this. Look, I, I respect. That's it. why I kind of I, <laughs> I, I like yielded a little. Story. I yielded because I didn't want to offend the the community. <laughs> <laughs> Tony's right there as well. So. <laughs> Yo, but no, roll gang, roll yeah. gang. No, nah, I'm not. <laughs> nah, I'm not dabbing you up on that. No, Tony. Roll tight. Tony walks the line, dude. But uh, he rolls Cash. the line. Jesus but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but no. So, anyways, I see this guy in in the uh, ruckus. Right, that's what okay. we're gonna call it. I see him in there, and I think to myself, "What are you doing in the mountains, buddy? You need flat land, like." Yeah. I because you know these snowy like i've been to Vail, i've been to flagstaff i've been to salt lake you do need a little bit of grit yeah you need yeah. a little bit of grit to live they up in these have, places does the guy have like a bag of salt in the little basket that he's throwing in front of him dude yeah yeah stuff, so yeah, yeah, true, yeah, yeah yeah exactly yes and then uh so we're checking out and out of nowhere the lady who works there she walks up to us she's like hey i need can i get two of you boys to help me out I'm thinking she needs something off the top shelf, sure, right? Yeah. She says the guy that was just in that wheel in the in the roller dipped with a basket full of stuff that he didn't Hell pay for. Yeah. We legally can't go chase after him. Will a couple of you guys go stop him for us? Now, I think my first out loud, I said, "No, we should not do this." But the sergeant. Needs a mission, dude, <laughs> and you know that. Oh, man, you look like a cop too. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you were dude. I was home. wearing my Sunset Strip Comedy Club sweater that said "Staff" oh on it, dude. God, so I was I just like ready to bounce. So you felt like you were <clears throat> deputized. You had the badge. Dude, so I walk over to this guy. Snow everywhere, by the way. It is freezing hey, outside. Up. I walk up to this guy. You can't write. You can't write this. Right. He has no idea what's going on. As I walk up to him, he accidentally drops a full tray of croissants. Just fucking Whoa. drops it. Whoa. Croissants everywhere. Okay, now I hate you. <laughs> croissants galore. Wait, is a, croissants? This is yeah. a safety hazard. We got about 12 croissants on the ground. Also, we All can... right, you go to hell. <laughs> what are you talking you go about? To hell. What do you want to call crescents? Are you that type? Are you trailer yeah, crescents? They're crescents, boy. La de bouton. <laughs> <laughs> the croissants. Anyways, now they're getting frozen. These are little bumps. These are speed bumps. This is a, a hazard. But I go up to the guy, and we confirmed with the lady. She's like, that's him. And there's two dudes that have Wait, my was back. was this lady a gay man? No. She was an there old... There he is, fellas. She was, an old, <laughs> she was an old raggedy... She was an old raggedy mountain woman, dude. She was a mountain ram of a woman. Uh, I, know the, I know the type. You know the type. You grew up with these That's ladies. That's my mom. You grew up with these ladies, yeah. So she, uh, she, she, sicks, she sicks me on him like a dog. And the two dudes that have my back, this is a detail that I should explain. I met 45 minutes ago for All the right. bachelor party. I have no idea who they are. I have no idea if my best interest is in their mind. Oh, they're the ones watching my sex. And they're somehow already your brothers. Yeah, yeah, but they were in a fraternity. Yeah. They're gross. So they, they kind of have that right away. You're one of us. But yeah, come on in, dude. <laughs> Men suck, dude. You, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're yeah. the worst. Yeah, we are the worst. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so I'm like, hey, um, hey, brothers, you did you pay for this stuff? And he looks at me, old man, fat as all get out, dude. Like beer yeah. belly, it's just uh, insane. I mean, he's struggling. He's got croissants everywhere. I mean, he's he's frazzled. He's clearly if frazzled. He's dropping croissants. Yeah, I mean, he just stole. And he awesome. also just stole a basket full of groceries. That's so sick, right? And so, uh, just don't chew into the mic. That's all I ask, Tony. I'm okay, I'm good. <laughs> Push it away. Uh, uh, it makes me happy that I'm not the fat guy. <laughs> <laughs> Just so, this is a working man, dude. He only has so much time. He's got to scarf I'm it down. I'm sorry, dude. No, I you're good. You're good. I late. So I say, hey, sir, did you pay for this? And he says, in fact, I don't know what his response was that, but I said, do you have a receipt that you can show me? Yeah. And he's like, oh, I think I have, I can't find the receipt, but I can show you this. And he shows me what's like, a club card of some sort, like a, like a Sam's Club card or something like that, or to this like grocery store. Video. Yeah, he wow. just shows me that. And I'm like, no, that's that's not a receipt. Look, I think you're gonna have to go pay for that, or there might be a problem. And he was like, what? And, and that's what I'm thinking. Like, why the fuck did I just say that, dude? Like, there's what am I? Like, gun, dude, there's dude. literally a new sheriff in town. I just got off the fucking plane, and I'm enforcing. This is insane. <laughs> Walking like he just got off a horse. This guy's probably lived here his entire life, dude. Listen, I'm your that. partner. Nobody drops croissants in my town. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that was the real crime. Honestly, if we didn't drop the croissants, I would have just let him go. But uh, 
I said, sir, you're going to have to go pay for that, croissant included. <laughs> you have to bring the empty croissant thing and go pay for it. Uh, uh, what? Okay. But no, so he said, so he shows me the card, and I'm like, that's not a receipt. I need a receipt. And he's like, I don't have one. You, you have to go pay. And he was like, really? And I said, yes. He's like, are you telling me I have to go pay? And I said, yes. And then he started huffing and puffing. Hell He yeah. was like, <sighs> big bad wolf, dude. He was about to blow me down, dude. Wait. <laughs> so uh, what store was this? Uh, I believe. Was it, it, like oh, a, it was a uh, Safeway. So it's a chain. Yeah, you're a bad guy, huh? People should be able to steal. In hind, in hindsight, I feel horrible. Yeah, but d- again, was he you give the story because if it was like a mom and pop like little corner grocery yeah. store, I'd be like, stop that guy. Yeah, but th- yeah, but if it's like a corporate, I'm like, nah, <laughs> they deserve it. to get stolen. I don't think me. Safeway's rolling in the dough. It's like local little grocery stores. Yeah. They are a chain. What, but I what don't were think- the frat frat boys doing? The frat boys were, were getting my six. They were, were kind of watching. The croissants off the ground. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, style. yeah, yeah. He's like, get down there, pledge. Eat the croissants. <laughs> Eat them. <laughs> Put in my ass. You need it out yeah. of my ass. <laughs> yeah. Suck my dick, faggot. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? Oh. You think you're doing that? Isn't that gay of you? <laughs> That's yeah. such a funny concept. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like in the like the football players just like putting their finger up your butt yeah. and calling you gay. Take well, it. Let's corner, yeah, the, yeah. let's corner the nerds and make them show us their dicks. Isn't that gay of those guys? <laughs> yeah, it's so gay yeah. of them, dude. They're resisting. <laughs> uh, man, if you don't if you don't hold me in your arms all night, you're a gay yeah, boy. Yeah. Oh, you're a big spoon, so tough, dude. <laughs> oh, but it is nice to be felt and held. Oh, just see me. Yeah. We Anyways, did. yeah. Right. <laughs> so what happened after it was huffing and puffing? So then I backed up that I said, "Boys, fall back." We we because like he obviously yeah. He, if you live in the mountains, you have a shotgun. You got a gun, dude. Yeah, you have a gun. So I said, "Boys, fall back." Here's the thing. We're back in line. Turn to my right. What do I see coming around the corner, dude? The ruckus. We got the perp, boys. He got back in line and paid. Everyone went home, had a good time. As far as I'm concerned, that's vigilante justice. You saved the economy, dude. What are you talking about? Saved the economy. Look, we've talked about this on this pod. Either that or I hallucinate. I don't know what I talk in my head or with you, You Tony. Stop doing mushrooms. (laughs) Well, I did. I have. I put my foot down. So what? What what do you? (laughs) But 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 me and Tony, I think we've talked about this. You have to. We. This is a society, Scott. Yeah. And you have to check your fellow human, dude. If they're acting up. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I don't. You let them go once. You, yeah, then I agree with that. I, I didn't probably would never put my hands on someone. For me, corporate theft is uh, a real big gray area. I mean, steal from the corporate monsters. If you want to take from Subway, do it. They got little children yeah, raped. Yeah. I'm okay with that. But are you, is that a thumbs up? <laughs> no, that's, that's good. Whoa. Right. Yeah. I mean, you're not wrong, but whoa. I mean, they kind of. They <laughs> oh, put a, sorry, Scott. They put a. They put a <laughs> what did I do? You should not eat at Subway. They put a pedophile no. on a pedestal. Also, also Subway trash. sucks. Subway yeah. is awful. Dude, they put him on There's a. There's a Jersey they, they put also, him, Hold on. Just let me. They yeah, put yeah. him on a pedo. Stool. <laughs> hey, on. I like. Has I can't never, believe you're getting so has many that never been said? Has I don't, that I've never actually been said? never heard that before. It's charisma. It's not because well, I'm funny. Well, it's pedestal first. It's not pedestal. The exit's right there, dude. Why don't you see yourself? <laughs> I'll kill myself. <laughs> you better, you better buckle up, dude, because it's gonna be a bumpy ride. Dude. Oh, are we gonna? Are we, we don't. Gonna, are we gonna do puns wrong the rest of the time? <laughs> oh, come on, dude. That was a don't very. Start that was a very this. close. Puns are like horseshoes and hand grenades, and you know that. Dude. If, you, if you ballpark a yeah, pun, you're I good. I eat them both for breakfast. <laughs> yeah, hand grenades. On. Yep. Nice. Dude. And that, horseshoes. Hell yeah! A hand grenade is something that would exist in Austin. It's like a deep fried. Oh yeah, like, it's an uh, onion with a with a whole baby's head just inside of it, wrapped in bacon. Yeah, <laughs> which by the way, pretty so, good. I'd, I'd pretty try. good. <laughs> Sign me Two up. Thumbs up. Can we can we get fat for a second? Yeah. You want to talk uh, county fairs? Because uh, this looks oh, like a guy. This, you look like a guy who's taking down some deep fried Oreos. I performed at the town? Austin Rodeo the other can, week. Can we talk what? about that for you a rodeo second, boy? For did the you, staff, you did a hog tie. I just did some stand up for the staff. Oh, oh. can I do? Uh, I love, oh. the ro- I love the road. I love the road. In the words of R. Kelly, <clears throat> I don't know how to hog tie people. <laughs> you guys ever see that interview? No. I don't believe him. He was honestly. like, they, I said, think they said, he said a hog tied her. I don't know how to hog tie people. He t- it's old time. He's like cry- bawling dude, as he says it. It's Fuck. hilarious. Who, who was, God, wasn't that was a 60 Brandon. minutes or something? Yeah. I think Barbara I just, Walters, I don't know nothing about nobody. Yeah, yours is better. Mine was a little more donkey He talks like Shrek. that? No, yeah. I'm just doing a black eye voice. We're just oh. doing donkey from Shrek, yeah. honestly. I, I'm I'm just know doing Eddie Murphy. Time, and in the morning, I'm pissing on her seats. Does, does R. Kelly <laughs> sound like Eddie Murphy? <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so at all. But uh, you were going somewhere. You said, let's get fat and let's do it. Oh, I just... Um, Oh, I was going to talk about uh, there's everybody into Austin ever since I got here. Everybody's talking about this uh, this brisket crunch wrap supreme. Yeah, CM Smokehouse. Disappointed. Trash, dude. Uh, so I bad. haven't I haven't had it's it. Not oh, I good. like it. Maybe you got one on a bad day. I might have. But, but also you're a little picky, right? 
No, no, no. I You're I'm picky. picky. I you, don't, I'm you, not picky. You have a well versed palate. Yeah, I'm, I like good food. Yeah, and uh, I'll eat anything. But I just remember, like, for the amount of hype I got from that, to what I actually. By the way, I think I was on. I think I hyped it. I think it was one yeah. of the hypers. I blame Mike Dude, Eaton. This is bad. Honestly, Mike Eaton right. and uh, Marcus Oland from work. Right, I'll let them take the heat. Dude, Dude, you're like really distraught about this. It's crazy. No, it bummed me out. Honestly, yeah, I, so your eyes I, are getting glossy. I right heard now. about it for five months before ever getting the time to go get one. And I was like, oh, hell. And what yeah. did it run you for? 25 bucks? Yeah, it was like $23 for yeah. a crunch wrap. But you got to watch some pickleball. Nah. Or which one did you go to? The one on Lamar. Maybe they both have pickleball. They do, yeah. What? It's like a little. They they have pickleball pickleball's in right now. It's like a it's like an adult playground. Dude, what thing. is okay? So know. this ties in everything with the frat people, the people you went on this bachelor trip with. What it's the pickleball. What is with the pickleball? Uh, you it can't sucks. tell. Me. It looks fun. I'm sorry. I've played it. it. Does it's, it's whatever. Is the, is that what we'd all be doing if we weren't doing comedy? Would we be doing pickleball after work? Just be an adult. Play pool. Yeah. Well, pool now to me is like for degenerates. If you play pool, you're a cokehead. Well, gentlemen a... like myself play billiards. Billiards, you know. But I think billiard <laughs> players. To me, billiard players. Never these is... colored balls. <laughs> <laughs> All white balls. Thank uh, you, kindly. gentlemen <laughs> like me. I've got thirty texts from my family right now. Is there an emergency? Oh no, it's just pictures of my nephew shooting a gun. <laughs> at, at, not at a human, right? That could be an emergency. You guys are up see? in Utah, right? He's oh, got an beautiful. AR, dude. Look he's, at him go. How old's your nephew? Oh, he's God. nine. He's got an AR. That's sick. <laughs> Jesus Christ! And these these are Mormons, and right? these are mountain people. Uh, oh, sick, dude! Look at my niece. She's got a a suppressed PPK. <laughs> Dude, oh see, these are mountain people, dude. This is yeah. what I was dealing with. You don't with. mess with us. This dude. is why I had. Crazy, this is why dude. I had to perform a citizen's I arrest. Can't believe you. If you're walking away with cans of beans. Who, who knows? I what can't you're believe of. you tried to play sheriff in that town, man. I, brother, I didn't play. I, I enforced. That's right. What are you talking? Do you see this mustache? Doesn't. Yeah, but you look play. like a New York cop. Yeah, hey, you hey, do. Hey, you well, that's even more. That's, you don't look like a mountain. That's the guy you're gonna respect because you know he's a little dirty and something about that's sexy. Yeah, but I want a mountain cop who's like. He, he plays by the rules, but he also he's like, First I got my own brand of justice. It's not a mountain cop. It's a mountain, <laughs> a mountain cop. It's a mountain. Yeah, dude. It's, it's not a mountain cop. It's a mountain sheriff. Listen, mountain the only sheriff. thing your mountain is a cock and riding it, right? Boom. <laughs> Why do you know so much about my sex life? Tell because me. you hit on me every time I walk. Okay, past probably because you one, probably because you grab you his I'm balls. Hit, every, <laughs> if you think I'm hitting on you, oh buddy. Oh, I'm hitting on literally everybody but you, boy. Yeah, dude. ain't that right, Maddie Stu? Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, I had Maddie Stu. No hey, I had Maddie Stu backstage with his shirt off last week. Really? Oh, you well, did? hold on. That was yeah, a choreographed. Doing... That was a choreographed performance. Oh yeah, kill. it was totally Maddie's dude, idea. See, good evening news. It should. <laughs> good evening news should be turned to gay evening news. It already is. There's so yeah. much gay it, porn on this show. So much. Gay Every Wednesday's news. live at Sunset Strip. It's folks. a great Tuesday, show. Tuesday at ten. Tune, Tune in. in. I'm uh, Tuesday, I'm doing a is Tuesday a, or Wednesday. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Jesus fuck! I'm on it every week. I have no idea what I'm day. Do, I'm doing a uh, I'm doing oh my a, God. a barbershop quartet with Ryer this weekend. Isn't What's, that a Isn't that a duo? It's uh, me, Ryer, and uh, a couple other people are gonna. We're doing a barbershop let's, quartet let's, thinking about how. Uh, let's see if the three Jack of us can gay. do it right now. You ba 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 ba. Okay, well, well I've that's never not... heard. I don't know the. <laughs> you didn't like the way I started. That's, that's Am I just supposed not to go a barbershop bar- quartet. Like... Ba ba. Yeah, it is. Ba ba. No, that's the Beach Boys. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's this? All right, well then you give me one. Uh, so it's so it's, ooh, four, it's a four up, part harmony. Ba, ooh, do up, so it's. Ba, ooh, I'll 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 start the low tone okay. and then everybody goes up an octave. Okay, let's go. So what do you want? Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream, you, you scream. That's Jack's gay. Jack's gay. Jack's gay. Not bad, not bad, guys. That's actually kind of Jack fun. It's so good. It's fun. Nice fun. That's fun. See, that's barbershop right there, baby. Dude, that show is. I, you know, I watched a man. Uh, you did the. You saw the butt chug stuff. No, that was before I got here. Oh uh, no! I, uh, good evening. I had. I, I left home early that evening, not because I didn't want to Crazy. see the butt chug. I just had somewhere to be. I watch I Graffiti sell a soul on that stage. What? You people are crazy, dude. Wait, wait, wait. Did, <laughs> did Ike butt chug? <laughs> no. I just watched him kiss Patrick DePari. Oh, though. what? That was hilarious. I know, it was hilarious. Also, they're both bisexual. Like, well, but Ike is not bisexual. <laughs> Is he not, you is don't it, know much is about this, Ike. Is this something yeah. that he wants us to be talking about? <laughs> He's a theater kid. I don't know. All theater I kids thought he was second. gay when I first met him, but why are yeah. we talking about Ike Rafferty now? It's because crazy. you brought him up, dumbass. Yeah. 
But yeah, that's crazy. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. The, the listeners are nasty. all really big. The fans. listeners, no, you're there's, fine. There's no context for the last ten minutes of what we've been talking about. People are like, what the fuck are they saying? Well, let, let's just get back on track then, fellas. On Dude, the way, hold on. The what do you Jews? Got? Uh, I'm sorry. On the way home from Tahoe, <laughs> I had to fucking wrangle. So I bought a ticket. I was gonna get an Uber out of there, and then on the way home from the casino at like 3 a.m., the boys were like, "Yo, you can get a tra- or you can get a shuttle." Oh look at that! <laughs> I mean, that's you can get a, you can get a sh- shuttle from you can get a shuttle from the mountain to the airport because I was flying out of Reno. We were in Tahoe. Oh, There's that's like right. so the shuttle was thirty bucks. I'm like no brainer. They tell me where to be, be at the back of Harris Casino. Now it's feeling a little sketchy, right? But I show up. Nine oh seven was the pickup time. Dude shows up at nine thirty eight, ah. and this is like people that are late. This is like it's awful. Yeah, this is like an old dude from Brooklyn, short. Just fucking out of shape, so old. He's like, everybody on the bus, I'm going to start loading it up uh, one by one. Skis over here, bags over there. Everyone's got snowboards and skis. I'm like, this, he's a one-man team, by the way. And I'm like, this, there's no fucking way. We hop in. I still have plenty of time to get to my flight. <clears throat> so I think. We, we slowly pull behind another casino. I'm like, what the uh, fuck he's, is happening? He's doing multiple stops. Another run. Everybody, skis over here, bags over here, on the bus. And then it's, uh, dude. We hit a third stop. I'm looking at the time. I'm like, this is impossible. He gets up. I'm like, sir, sit down. I am I am loading the bus. There's no way. We're, we're like, you're going to make us all late. Like, I kind of snapped on this old guy. And Papa just loaded up the bus. I was like commanding people, telling them where to sit. We got two. Go, I got a two-seater dad. in the back. And I'm just loading this. Sh- I tweaked my back, dude. I was like throwing skis oh, in. You, were, you already you were, are a dad. Viciously. Wait. I damaged people's equipment, but they don't care at that point. We need to get to the airport. I get down there. He's like, all right, I'm going to unload. I'm like, you're not going to do shit. Pal, you sit down. I unloaded the bus. Everyone gets. I got people dabbing me up, giving me high fives. Ladies are like, tips. "That was so good." No tips. I mean, people are fucking. They're what a world. What a I'll world tell you what, in. dude. We we would have missed if I didn't take if I didn't take charge. Charge. If I didn't take charge. How, 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 how on time were you? How were you on time or just? Fine? I was about. That's I, the wildest question I've ever. <laughs> well, here's the thing. How do you quantify how on time you are? Well, well that was the worst. It's, question. That's it's literally. Uh, you are or you are not on time. <laughs> that was so. Funny. I like it though. That's how on time. That's a wonderful thought to have. <laughs> I was uh, I was semi on time to answer your question. I don't even know. I was on time to pull one. <laughs> Tony, to answer your question, yeah. I was on time enough to pull one slot machine in, oh, the, in, terminal, yeah, in terminal B Dude. of Reno. And it's crazy that you brought this to my attention because whenever I fly, like I'm always like I realize that like my last time flying, I'm always like a like I'm freaking like I'm Tony. I, never, I don't know if you know this about yourself, but that yeah. is kind of every minute of yeah. every activity no, that you do. You I, you go high octane, high stress, yeah. all the pressure in the world when usually there's not a lot. I I'm know, a yeah. I'm a two hours before the flight kind of guy you show up See, I, I fucking I'm, hate I'm, that i leave my house two hours before the flight dude so I f- i'm usually i'm getting to security i've got an hour and a half i want to be at my gate with a good hour oh yeah but don't, let's for, like i think you're cleaning up the fact that you're an alcoholic and you want to drink a lot before the flight as well i'm not an alcoholic okay uh i don't ever drink while i'm traveling really uh because I don't enjoy it's not, how I not being it. in control when I'm not in an environment that I'm in control of. Oh, I hate that. I You've love, never been oh, uh, I love bent over in somebody's apartment that you just met? Yeah, but I'm sober. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. All right. Good for you. Well, also, I do the bending, you know. Oh, do you? Okay. Anytime you I've. Figure out? No. <laughs> anytime Mr. I've ever. Oh, he doesn't flirt with me anymore. <laughs> Anytime I've ever showed up two hours, because I like that too, but anytime I show up two hours early, it's the emptiest airport you've ever seen. I and like I that. buzz right through, and it's just like, why the fuck did I do this? I love that and then though. anytime I'm like, oh, it's a small airport, it's not a busy day, mm-hmm. I just need to show yeah. up 15 minutes before boarding, slammed up the walls here, dude. Dude. Can't even. I don't even mean to be that guy, but talk about a fucking, the last time, when I was coming back from Denver the last time, I don't even know how this, I had so much crazy shit happens in the day, I forget stuff, but. I was there's a train that goes right in Denver from the airport. It's like a thirty minute. It's not a close chugga, airport, chugga. and it's like a great train that goes right into the airport. And I didn't buy a ticket because the last time I rode it, I didn't. You don't have to buy a fucking ticket. Yeah, well, you Harry Potter over here just tried to run into the wall with Dude. his cart. And they were checking tickets, and the guy Ooh. said, "You got to get off the next stop." Was the buy. conductor checked you? He ta- he checked me, and and he told me get off at the next stop and buy a ticket. I get off at the next stop to buy a ticket. 
All my stuff is on the train. Oh. Uh, the train dro- r- drives it off as soon as I get off. Brutal. And I'm freaking out. I called the help desk. But luckily, dude, God sent, dude. They got to the security gate. And like I said, I was sprinting. To the, I was By the sprinting. Grace. By the, the grace. I literally was there like you. They're literally about to close the door. Yeah. And that's like every time I fly, I'm sprinting to the fucking gate. And dude, it's crazy. I showed up to my gate at Southwest packed right and i forgot to check in the day before because i'm a dummy it was my first time flying southwest this last weekend don't like it it's a, zoo. It's a terrible it's airline. the tunnel of chaos terrible that t- it's the tunnel of chaos South- southwest is worse than frontier it's also- insane but hold on because i show up and i'm and i'm like all right dude i'm gonna play the system i don't like to do this but i'm like i'm gonna go show them the old military i'm gonna go show them i'm a veteran they hit me with the what have you done for me lately we don't give a fuck active, oh. active duty only bitch oh. Back of the Damn. line, and I said, "Oh yes, ma'am. Sorry." No, and, I would have been like, "I fucking no. died for you." No, the, a couple people, a <laughs> I couple died and came back to life. A couple very obvious Trump supporters behind me were like, "Oh hell no, 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 no. We're gonna put our foot down for you, brother." I'm like, "Boys, let it go. All right. I yeah. just want my Biscoff cookie, just I, like everybody else. I'm not here. I'm not here for trouble." Isn't that kind of the worst when Trump supporters do that? I mean, I didn't know if they were Trump supporters, but they were some proud. Boys. I mean, they were. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, they were. Like, does that, has it ever happened in a show where, like, a heckler is, like, uh, you say, like, a more, like, you know, joke about Democrats and a Democrat goes, meh, meh, and then the Republican's like, hey, let them hey, why don't you shut the fuck up? It's yeah, like, you know, whoa, like, don't hop on to me. I I'm have not- a joke about this. Like, oh, I, no. I literally look like, like, I have the type of face where if somebody says something racist, they try to, they're going to fucking look at me yeah, for backup. They right. try to, like, this guy knows what I'm talking about. Resting it's like, no, face. I don't. Yeah. I have the, this guy knows what I'm talking about face. Dude. No, it's, I it's, don't know. So what like, brother, saying. I'm not with look, you. Look, I think, uh, I think we can all agree we've, uh, we've let enough of them across the border. You know what I'm saying, brother? Like, we, 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 we fucking <laughs> Pisces? What are you talking, what are you talking, Virgos? What are you talking about? I'm not saying they all steal, but you know, keep your hand on your wallet. You know what I'm saying, saying brother? You, you know what I'm saying? What are you talking about? Fathers? Who are you talking about? I just don't see color. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. I only see three colors, brother. Yeah. I mean, Red, it, is, it is funny to look like me and not be racist. It is. A, uh, a yeah, it's almost impossible. It, some would say. Some would say, but it, I'm holding it, strong. It, it, I'm holding strong, oh, okay. brother. Okay. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll admit it comes out of me every I mean, the while. whites piss me off, if I'm being honest with you. I can't stand the whites. Dude, I was thinking about don't this like, today. If, like I was, either, if I was honestly. black, I, my black friends are cool because I, if I was black, I wouldn't have one white friend. Tony, in a world where you can just identify as what you want to identify, I would say you are black. <laughs> okay, well, I should stop having white friends then, dude. I wouldn't. Well, no, that. I mean, follow David Jolly's lead. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but I mean, it'd be so cool to just be roasting white people all day. It would be cool. Yeah. Oh, goof ass. Yeah. Oh, goof ass. Oh, goofy ass, ass head ass motherfucker. Oh, goof ass boy. I, yeah. I, I wish like I a had, bowling ball. I wish I had black friends growing up, man. I, f- I feel like I missed out. Did it more not 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 about black people in the Mormon community? Well, I grew up in uh, Wisconsin. Not uh, a lot of black people in Wisconsin. Yeah. Jeffrey Fair. Dahmer took uh, care of that. Milwaukee, yeah. uh, you know, very diverse city. Yeah. Uh, but Oconomowoc, Wisconsin. I mean, we had uh, we had one. Oconomowoc. what? We Oconomowoc. What the fuck? Growing up, I think we had uh, like four black kids in my high school, and three of them were brothers that were adopted by white parents. Wow! And they so they were the whitest kids ever. Yeah, yeah, pretty white. Yeah, but yeah. scholarships, all of them. Um. Uh. Yeah. yeah, yeah no. No. <laughs> we had we had one of those. Are you kidding kids. me? No. <laughs> Dude, we had one of those kids in uh, middle school, and everyone loved him. And then out of one day, he just vanished. Oh, they were great kids. I mean, I loved they all those guys. They like sold them to like another like family. All right, dude, you're saying? Uh, uh, well, I didn't know. It. Sorry. They <laughs> they uh, they uh, whatever. I mean, they, uh, <laughs> what did they do? They basically somebody bells bought them. But I, I left. I left White Town, Wisconsin. I lived in Ukraine for two years. What? The whitest country in the world. Uh, so, and then I um, if moved. I may. <laughs> Salam alaikum, brother. Salam alaikum. <laughs> and then I, I moved from there. I got back to the States. I started going to college in Idaho. Utah. Uh, and not just Idaho, <laughs> but it's hot today. But BYU. Idaho. Oh, so a Mormon college. BYU to How about that? <laughs> BYU Absolutely the whitest. And then after that, I lived in Salt Lake for eight years. Little fun is fact one of the about cities in the whole wide world. If I may, a little fun fact about BYU: because their field is blue, seagulls just fucking swan dive into it and break and break their necks. Hey. Really? Because they think it's a lake. When it's uh, the oh. state bird of Utah. Yeah, and you guys. What do you guys hang? Do you guys do you guys hang them up? Games. Oh, okay. Where, where you went to that school? I went to BYU Idaho. Oh, it's like the shitty version of BYU. So do you didn't live in Boise. I lived in Rexburg. I hear Boise's incredible. Boise's awesome. Yeah, here's also a gem. super cool comedy scene in Boise. That's what I hear. It's a little fucking really gem, little dude. scene, but they got killers. Casey uh, spent a lot of time up there. Casey Rocket, uh-huh. shout, out. Machine. Awesome. shout out. Yeah, crab. It's the crab man. He's having a moment, isn't he? Dude, isn't he that is so sick. 
Dude, the rocket ship's taking off. I love it's it. It's about time. I love it. It's yeah. been fully engaged for quite some time, just ready, ready to go. Oh yeah, the I got countdown. to see him in a theater in at Denver. It was cool. That's sick, dude. It was cool to see the rocket in a the theater. Yeah. Oh, dude. the rocket. He was just on Matt and Shane's secret podcast. Was he there? Yeah, last week. That's wild. Yeah, dude. Casey, I'm telling you, the rocket. Houston, we have a problem. I got nothing. Right. Dude. <laughs> that was pretty good. You know what that means? Houston. You know what that means? No, Houston, we got a good. There's problem. gonna be a, there's gonna be an opening at the mothership pretty soon. No. Whatever. And you know what that means? None of us is. Here. I know. <laughs> <laughs> my 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 heart belongs at the strip. <laughs> All right, guys, it's a good time. Why don't we go ahead and bring him out now? Bring him out. Bring him out. <laughs> Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Um, but yeah, dude, yeah. Uh, the mountain was fun. Did some snowboarding, shred a little know. bit. Thighs are. Uh, do you ski? Uh, yeah, I grew up skiing. I feel like you are so. You I'm a look, great skier. I feel like you're graceful. I'm very good. I do. I see the way you move around the oh, halls. Yeah. And, uh, I'm a, I slalom through this smooth. world. Dude, through slaloms are. Wait a minute. Is this sarcasm? No, I'm a great no. skier. Okay. Yeah. All no, right. Scott, I could. T- I, what is it? What do you? Well, what? What? <laughs> Nothing. I mean, you are built like a snowman, so that yeah, makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Dude, you look like Jack Frost if he never went to rehab. Why don't, yeah, yeah, why don't you right. shut up? You're right. <laughs> <laughs> You could play Jack Frost Dude. if they made a if they made like a that'd be so funny if Jack Frost never got the call from above and he just was living a real what life. What a crazy movie too, huh? Isn't that uh, the, Keaton, right? Yeah, Michael Keaton. Yeah, I watched that semi recently. Actually, do you know Did about you Jack it? Frost? No, the dad was turned into a snowman. He comes back as a snowman. snowman. He, he was killed on the way to his like son's basketball yeah, game. Yeah, he's or like something. an alcoholic. Like, what? Yeah. yeah, and then Michael Keaton comes back as a snowman <laughs> to help his son. He fucks. He has sex with the wife. With his, he puts a carrot on his, his carrot cock, and he fucks her. Honestly, There's Scott, a scene. get a little, get a little high and watch it. You could, you can wait for the holiday season, but why deprive yourself? How have I missed this movie? <laughs> there's no, dude. I think it's, no I think it's because you, uh, it's, you grew up in the FLDS, dude. You were a little house on the prairie. You missed a lot. You <laughs> know, there was there a carrot cock scene. I think that's in your head, oh. but I went with it. <laughs> I just pictured. It sounded like a I pictured movie. a snowman. Maybe there was. Bucket. I think he did. There is a scene where he's banging. I think. Bro, are you serious? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe this is Mandela effect. Now the like movie exists. Maybe he grabs an icicle off the roof. That's or good. Something. That's good, dude. That's another thing. Have you ever seen someone get smacked by an icicle? These things look yeah. deadly. Can yeah, they, they kill people. That's insane. Can they pierce a man? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. How many deaths by sickles per year? No, uh, it depends that's on the, the state. Now they say that, that that's a murder weapon is an icicle. And yeah. it's the best one because it melts. it melts and leaves no evidence. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> we did it. We, we, we solved, we solved, <laughs> we solved. That was the eerie silence. That pause was, that pause there was we were, crazy. We were all just making We all were kind of like, like, like okay. Problem is, is Papa gets cold, I don't want to hold it. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, I get cold. Have you guys seen me when I get cold? I get tight and shake. You get a little grumpy. Yeah, dude. it's not you good. Get a little grumpy. So well, cold, I don't. The cold will change. The cold tells a lot about a man. I love the cold, man. I hate the cold. Oh, yeah. I I grew up in the the great Arctic North. I I I'm a cold blooded belly. Yeah, oh, I could I do. That. It. I just want to see you yodel like, in the. To Alps. me, the cold makes oh, you so strong. I would love to see I'm that, really. I'm a love, yodeler. Like yeah. this is how strong the cold makes you. If I was outside and somebody like, and I was a young boy, and then somebody took me in and molested me, I'd be like, oh, I'm so happy I'm being molested right now. Well, that's not I'm, molestation. You can't molest the the unwilling or yeah. the willing. Oh, okay. So you at, can. This, at this point, this is this is foreplay. But you know, exactly. I'd be like, I'd be happy. I'd be getting molested if I was getting out of the. Again, cold you're injury. not getting molested it's if you're happy you, to get you molested. You with the cock, like, oh, this is nice. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I, I yeah, like, it's just, like a fire. Well, but the way you say the way you say I like getting molested, it's like, oh no, oh, oh no, stop. <laughs> well, like it's like I'm shivering, like, Ugh. all right, get that thing out here, big boy. Oh, yeah. okay. and then there's like a guy who brings me in, and and it's like weird, and he's like pulls his cock out. And I'm like, well, I kind of pictured warm. you getting molested by like a big. Eskimo woman, and I know you're not supposed to say oh, that word. Whoa. I just don't know the other one. I I couldn't even tell you the words that I heard another homeless guy saying last night outside of the mothership. It was crazy. Tony, dude. you say that word on stage all the time. No, dude, he was scre- <laughs> he was screaming, dropping the hard R, like screaming, Ugh. just looking up at the sky and saying, "You're an N word, bitch, God." No. That's you're, awesome. Uh, in front of uh, black people, though, and he was like a like a cracked out looking like trailer park white guy. Oh, sick, dude. Oh. It's like these people are just. I- <laughs> I don't like that. I was walking to work. You know how there's always like a group of like three homeless guys on the block in front of the sunset? Yeah. <laughs> I was talking to work the other day. And uh I I always try to keep an ear out when they're talking to each other. I just like, what are these guys talking talking about? Yeah. And I heard one go, he's like just sitting down with his buddies and he goes, Hey man, how you doing? And the other guy goes, 
what you mean spiritually <laughs> the guy goes and we're we homeless man i mean physically how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> dude, dude, that's so I, funny i laughed all the way up the stairs i was just like Bro, that is the speaking greatest. of sitcoms why is there not a homeless sitcom Oh, that's a great Dude, idea. That would be a fun because one. Because it's gonna become too culturally. Well, like, yeah, it's yeah. Tra Tracy Morgan would definitely have to be. Uh, in that although, one. dude, we'd, they, we'd they got to away with. Hold on, they got away with love on the spectrum. Yeah, but they're not. It is heartfelt, and I do like. It's good for these people. It's like I, everything is every every I outcome. Find love on the spectrum, super offensive. That's what I'm saying. As There's a, definitely a, like we should just be killing those guys. as an autistic gay. <laughs> I know, we're letting them fall in love. A tuh, a Ugh, tuh, tuh. What's next? Breeding. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, we should be eradicating these people, not making them bigger in numbers. I don't know, man. I think I'm uh, just joking. I'm a no, big fan joking. of love on the spec. I'm just saying, you know, you come at it from a certain angle. I, I think homeless there should sitcom. be a homeless sitcom. Yeah, I think it writes itself. Yeah, unhoused. <laughs> Yeah. It's the perfect name for the sitcom, yeah. Unhoused. Unhoused. It's, it's three best friends that were stockbrokers, and then it turns out their boss was running like a, a long term Oh, long you want to get you want to get romantic with it? I was thinking three crackheads. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, you want like a bag? You want a beautiful yeah, bag? I want I want home. No, I want the ones that were we born homeless, on the streets. Can we do homeless Seinfeld where it's a cardboard box apartment? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah, then yeah, Kramer yeah. just pops it. Like, yeah, bump, 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 <laughs> he just bump. knocks over a wall. <laughs> There's <laughs> spiders <laughs> under my skin, Jerry. <laughs> but he's still kind of the same like wiry type of guy. Just has the Ouija with him. Yeah, it's just three Kramers. That's all it is. It's yeah. just and and Elaine is just has her throat slit in the back. <laughs> <of her. laughs> no, Elaine is bald and naked. Unfortunately, <laughs> yeah. that is that tends to be the female clientele. Yeah, out there. yeah. It's, imagine it's in the writers' men. room, the you know the, the the what are they gonna write about having to suck dick in the alley for crack? <laughs> I've always pitched two gay lumberjacks. I think that'd be a good show, and that could Ooh. be the name too. Two mm -hmm. gay lumberjacks. Two gay yeah. lumberjacks. Yeah, just manly men, but they have a soft side. Should Do we they kiss? Okay, uh, can I pitch a, my podcast idea please, for you please, guys? Please, please, please. Uh, I'm actually pretty excited about it. I'm, I'm going to be launching it this summer. Oh, this is perfect. Is um, I want to, because we've been talking about writing and TV and, and, and stuff, I want to start a podcast where I sit down with my buddies. Mm -hmm. We come up with a concept. Maybe we like pull prompts or something out of a hat, and we riff a movie idea or a TV idea just That's just throw it together one. like like homeless yeah. Seinfeld and then uh, after the podcast is released we shoot a trailer for the movie or thing and that's, release it like that, a week later dude, that's such a good idea how much fun would it be to that'd shoot be, a, sh to shoot a trailer for for the homeless movie that'd be a lot of fun i, I we'd have a great time i mean me and tony are like the uh chris rock eddie murphy because it's my favorite thing to do i love riffing okay, fake dude. movies dude that's that's uh i love i love the idea of a trailer for a movie that's never gonna be yeah made. that's uh, a that's fun great. one to just make trailers yeah i love yeah. It, and i i In genuinely i <laughs> i will go and i will for hours i'll watch trailers for upcoming movies because i think like the editing of a trailer is so interesting and exciting yeah, yeah exactly like the quick cuts yeah some of them are like that. Uh, he was a boy yeah i just i, I think she it's... was a bitch <laughs> in a world <laughs> that's great i just uh, I, re I really love trailers I isn't think there like one dude that like has monopolized that uh yeah well i think there was and then his voice is just so easy to parody that in a world this summer, in a land, <laughs> this summer where God has turned his back on the populace, <laughs> one girl <laughs> rises to the top. That reminds me of that Pablo Francisco bit. You guys don't know it. That's crazy. He had a bit all about that. Yeah, yeah, about the movie. The guy with the movie theater, the movie uh, uh, preview voice guy. I would be it's interesting. I would love know. to hear him like get in a fight with his girlfriend. Why well, he kind of did that? I, you guys, do you guys know the Pablo Francisco? I don't. Not familiar. Wow, that's crazy. He's a great comic. He's I believe kind, it. He's kind of fallen off, but he's a great comic. Very old school. I would like he's to kind see of fallen off. Yeah, I would like to see Bruce. Who's the guy that does the UFC? Uh, uh Bruce. And Bruce Buffer. No. Fighting. Like, could you imagine him getting in like road rage? Oh my god. <laughs> Pick a lane, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Pick a lane <laughs> In a world In a world Where an he's... asshole doesn't use his blinker <laughs> In a world where the light is turned But the driver in front of me is clearly on their 
fucking phone. One man raises his hand <laughs> to honk his horn. In a world where a person thinks they're invincible because they're in the fucking crosswalk, but there's no force field that will stop my car from crushing you. Dude, I'm so glad you fucking said that. Because we're oh, they, these fun motherfuckers, when they think that little bo- uh, that dude. little walking symbol's oh, on, man. they think they're untouchable. Dude, the, the University of Texas, right? We're, we're right here. Hey, hey, yeah. real quick. Hook them. Hook them. Hook. I, I'm a big fan, right? You hook but you're going to college, and, the, and you're supposed to be smart. But you don't even know what a, a stop sign is. You don't know what a fucking... Oh, dude, because these kids grew up with their heads it's looking entire, down, dude. It's crazy, dude. We're the last generation to look up. Dude, to ride our look bikes. Up. We rode our bikes, Come man. on, dude, dab me up. My daddy, dude, come on. I used to be able to ride my bike across town yeah. with no cell phone. I started riding... to my friend's house. Dude, when's like... the last time you've seen in a cul-de-sac a gaggle of bikes in front of someone's lawn because they're yeah, clearly dude. inside playing N64? Never. No, or Mm-mm. or kids outside playing, like, stickball. Stickball, or... hide-and-seek. Um, all y'all the oxen free. Dude, Smear hide the queer. Seek. Can we the queer. Let's, get a, let's get a comedy of uh, night games going. I, we I'm, need to Capture summer. the flag. Dude, Ghost in the Graveyard. We've been playing basketball uh, on Tuesdays. Hans Kings are pulling up, dude. Oh, night games. Night games. Yeah, I just did Hans's podcast. We had a good time. Oh, I'll play b-ball tomorrow. You playing tomorrow? Yeah, I'll Tuesday. Hoop. Oh, you should pull I'll up. Hoop. Dude, hoop. Tuesdays. Are I'm good. an effort guy. Bro, you... It's so much fun bringing, bringing comics out to a basketball court. Well, I used to play with these guys all the time. I've taken like a year off in the coat. It's kind of fun because you get to put a shoes. body. Get put, a, put a body on Hans Kim. You know what I'm saying? Oh, boy. Because he talks a lot. Of, a lot. He does talk court. shit. Dude, he talks shit. He talks mad shit. I used to be a force out there, boy. On basketball I think, court? I think the lungs are shot. You think so? We'll try. I'll bring uh, I'll bring the orange slices. I'll referee. Oh, I would love that. <laughs> I'm terrible at you're basketball. You're the team mom? I'm terrible at basketball. Well, yeah. you're. I mean, you are built like one, so. <laughs> yeah, but you're the same color. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. And uh, what, should we roast each other, mothership? Oh, dude, I would love to. They'd roast let you. us. Yeah, we should. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Hey, these guys never gay and dumb and you bad. To... I've never done a roast. You never done a roast? No. Oh well. What's holding you back from it? You think? No one's asked me to do a roast. Should we I roast? Uh, should we roast our boy real quick? What's his? What's the best roast you have against Max right now? It's like uh, it's all gonna be pedophilic because no, I have a mustache. No, no, I know. I, I don't know this for sure, but I feel like Maddie Stu has a lot of pimples on his back. <laughs> I don't know. You just either. look like a guy that would have a <laughs> real pimply back. There's one way to find out. Let's do it. <laughs> Tarps know. off, fellas. Let's go, let's go. Really and this is know. how I do it. This is how I do it. With Holy the shit, guys. dude. Oh, my skin. Dude, how oh, you yeah. grow? Do you shave your I back? Could paint. You shave your back. That's it's immaculate. Show back. your back to the camera real quick. That's gorgeous. Do you no nothing? Do you yeah. shave your back, dude? Why are you? Why are you don't so shave jacked? your back? <laughs> what do you mean, why, like, why don't we kiss ever, man? What's the deal, dude? Shut the fuck up! Scott. I need you to leave, dude. Shut you up. should leave again. We were having fun when you were here. <laughs> this is all Scott. He wanted to get you on a roast battle to get your fucking shirt off. I asked you to roast. <laughs> and uh, please keep your shirt on. Can you guys? Can you hear me? There we yeah, go. You go. Right. Do no. I have pimples on my back? No. No. Okay. It was like it was like uh, somebody poured cream Dude, into the shape. It of was human. like a baby's back. It, it was really was yeah. smooth, smooth and smooth. soft. It I wanted to make a blanket out of your skin. Like that. See that light we're looking at right there? That's what looking at the back of your back yeah. looked like. Uh, they call me the eggshell otter. Yeah, I made that up. But kind of, it kind of has a, a ring to it. That's pretty good. Isn't that know. is an otter a thing in the gay community? Isn't that one of the types? Yeah, What's yeah. an otter? An otter. Would, would I be an otter? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, an otter because they're. You would be a twink. Probably. No way. I'm too shave. rugged. If I'm too shave. come on. He's not a twink. You don't go on two depl- you don't go on two deployments and come home to be face. a twink. Twink yeah. is body type. You got a twink body. <laughs> you don't go on two deployments. I I thought twinks were skinny little boys. Yeah, but you're kind of skinny. You just said I'm jacked. P- p- pick a lane, asshole. You're skinny jacked. All right. Skinny jacked. A skinny twink? Jacked. You're You've... throwing my boy a twink. Yeah. Look, if you want to be an otter, you gotta be real hairy. Dude, thanks for having my back. Otters you, are I... twinks that are have chest hair. Wait, do you like thought otters were smooth? No, twinks are smooth. But an otter doesn't have hair. Yeah, they do. They do. Yeah, they do. And we'll be an right otter back is. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. Uh, now, for, for a word from our sponsors. Yeah, dude, this is getting Bob Rossi. I it like is, it. It's very like I feel peaceful, dude. Yeah, a little man. Bit too I peaceful. do bring that vibe. You do. You yeah. do. I think next time we have Scott, we'd love to have you back. I'd love to come. And back. Next what, time is this, what is the show? This is the captain's dog. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah that's, right, that's right. That's fair. I mean, I don't even think we introduced you. So that's, <laughs> yeah, that's fair. And we don't. Tony called yeah. me out on that before this. He's like, I don't know if it's. We a need good to start, start introducing. Don't need to. You don't. You don't think no. you need to? What's your take on it? I like podcasts where you press play and they're right into a combo. Well, okay. See, and I I appreciate that. I that's why I want to do mine. My that way, yeah, is because well, I that's, that's different. You, what you're doing is a, an original idea, and I love. Well, it. it's it's just that I could never do this. 
I yeah. like it, and yeah. I listen to this type of podcast all the time, where it's just like this dudes, is all. This is where my shooting the shit. This is where my talent ends, dude. I'm, but, a, I'm a talker. But I could not, I could not uh, organize it and yeah. be consistent about it. Yeah. Um, but I love, I love listening and doing it. It's so fun. Yeah, it is. Just fun. shooting it with my boys because this is what we would be doing anyways. Yeah, exactly. We would just be having a conversation. It's like, why not have twelve people? Although watch? podcasts do force <laughs> you to be like locked into a conversation more. Yeah, that's the cool thing to say. I mean, we we just sat down for an hour and talked. Yeah, it's yeah, nice. And it's nice, dude. And the one thing that I didn't talk to you about that I want to talk to you let's about, I have no idea where we're at on time. By the way, <laughs> neither do I. Um, well, but cares? the uh, yeah. uh, the because you were talking about the bar crawl, right? Didn't you recently go on a bar crawl where you dressed up in a tracksuit? No, oh, this me. was that's you. This, no, no, no. Okay, so what I did was, so yeah, all right. So I went to went on this Tahoe trip because like it was a little frat boy. Mm -hmm. The day or like a couple weeks before, they put a link for this full on tracksuit, oh, yeah. and they're like, "We're gonna go out in tracksuits." I have the exact <laughs> yep. opposite energy of yep. you. When I hear that, I'm like, "Fuck!" Oh no, no that is my I'm jam. out, and so they're like, "This is gonna be Saturday night." I knew I had to get back for a spot. So I wasn't going to be there Saturday night. So I'm like, I'm not going to buy the tracksuit. Friday night comes around. They're like, hey, we're just going to do the tracksuits tonight. I'm like, well, oh, motherfuckers, yeah. I don't have a tracksuit. That's even worse. Now I'm the guy that doesn't have a tracksuit. So go. I just dressed up as the Tahoe Strangler. Uh, did you see the uh, thing I put on my story today of us getting out of the van? Mm -mm. There's a couple boys in tracksuits, and I'm just wearing like a suit jacket and a hoodie. And so you were the gloves. guy who's like, I'm not doing it. Well, I didn't have it because suit I didn't. Suit jacket think... and a hoodie is way weird. It's real. Yeah, strange. well, I just was going funny at that point. Okay. I didn't know what to yes. do. I wore I wore my gloves because I'm like, I don't want to get my fingerprints on the chips. <laughs> that was the vibe. They called me the Tahoe Strangler. The Tahoe Strangler. Latex gloves yeah. On. yeah. No, uh, they were like fuzzy no, gloves man, that I got at the I... grocery store. Uh, my buddies from Salt Lake and I would we've done it a few times where we uh we do the tracksuit bar crawl. Yeah, and it is the most fun. Don't you have like a leopard tracksuit? And a tracksuit. Track I have a I have a tiger in jungle <laughs> print. Does a tracksuit bar crawl include, include cocaine? I mean, who am I to judge? Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like it should. But it looks suit. like we're selling it for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, I have yeah I have a gold lined, uh, green tiger jumpsuit. And I also have like a classic Sopranos gray and black jump tracksuit. You know what I love about a tracksuit? It doesn't matter who you are or what you do to live, thrive, or survive. If you and that's a quote from Blues Brothers. But if you <laughs> if you put on a tracksuit, you look world. you look fast. Yeah, you oh, do. Yeah, and you that's do. one of those things yeah. that makes us all the same. It's you, so it's sick. a power me, play. Them. Also, it's everybody. a way to it's a way to wear your pajamas in public and also be feared. Dude, I was people, cozy. People are a little afraid of a guy in a tracksuit. I was cozied up at the port recently, th this last weekend, and I looked around at the boys, and they were all wearing jeans and a nice shirt, and I'm like, "Am I the asshole? I thought we were gonna be. I thought we were gonna be nah, in dude. the. If I'm gonna die, I don't. I don't want. I dress comfy for, I, for flying. I want to be I ready to be buried. Put, yeah, because I want to be buried in my jams. I, I mean, I'm going to rest. What's, you want to join us? What's oh, comfy? The, the boys are coming to town in two weeks. My buddy's getting married. We're doing a tracksuit bar crawl. You guys want to come hang? It'd be a good excuse to get a tracksuit. It's so fun. You I would, I would, I would like to do it. It'd be fun. Yeah. Fine, there'll be cocaine. To <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I don't want. To All right, do if that. you're gonna shove it down my nose, <laughs> <laughs> uncle, uncle. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Tracksuit bar crawl. What kind of tracksuit are you gonna get? I have two tracksuits. Cheetahs. Right? You have a cheetah one. Uh, no. I gotta say, I'm for a guy that's done more than one tracksuit bar crawl, I think you need. To up the game I have two tracksuits Yeah it's not enough I have had my eyes On a little <laughs> <laughs> On a little velour You've been number. doing some Window yeah, shopping you, downtown like, You're gay But like you're not like gay like, Nah you I'm pretty I'm pretty, pretty cool I'm pretty cool Oh that's a Dylan Sullivan Shout out joke. Shout out to Dylan Sullivan It's maybe my favorite joke of his. Yeah that's really good oh, What does he do I'm gay But other than that, that Sexually cool. I'm gay But other than that I'm pretty cool <laughs> Yeah yeah it's a very You're funny. not like a yes bitch Let's go shopping I can be oh, Okay I hate shopping okay. I really hate shopping nice. Um it's mostly because I'm fat and nothing fits me, and I don't. Oh, that's feel, how I. I, I, don't I feel pretty. brother, I lived two years in Japan. I know how you feel. Yeah. it's tough out there. It's tough. Yeah, out. you're you're like dude, you know, I come walking down there. the Godzilla. I'm too oh, big. Dude. Dude. I was huge, bro. Godzilla. <laughs> I was huge, bro. I towered yes, over sir. there. I was, uh, an XL in Japan is a is a crop top on your boy. Yeah, really. Well, I got a long torso. They're wow. very uh, petite people. Wow. Yeah. Pretty cool. Good diet. They walk everywhere. Great diet. Japanese are cool, man. Incredible diet. I fucks with them. Sam Talent just put out a nice little travel vlog. I've been watching those. Yeah, <laughs> it's, funny. So it's funny. Oh, really? That he calls it, that it's called Wide World. Yeah. It's great. That's good. He's man. he's the best. 
Dude, dude, the world is not built for Check Americans. Out his book. No, 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 no. We're no, not no. welcome. Well, dude, and we're not comfortable anywhere overseas, other than America. Go overseas and order a large of anything. Oh yeah, it's you'll, like you'll I be, need three of these. You'll, you'll be hungry. Yeah, <laughs> it's insane. I remember I went. Really? to I, I just even American things over there. Like I went to Dunkin' Donuts in Japan. A large the size of my hand. I'm like, this is not enough sugar. Are you serious? Are doing? It's crazy. I always i I've heard about it on the documentaries. I and didn't Duncan believe it. Duncan is Duncan gives you a gallon of coffee, dude. dude it's if you get if you drink an XL, when you realize what how much sugar is in a. a oh, I don't right. do that. Oh, yeah, God, it's dude. insane. It's crazy. I, I know a friend. Shout out to Brimmy in the in the military. He would get an extra large vanilla iced coffee, extra cream, oh. extra sugar. Yeah, we're oh. talking like 250 percent oh, of your daily dude, value. That's of more. Sugar. That's like that's genuinely worse than soda. Yeah, no, it is. Yeah, it's so gross. Yeah. But it, yeah, but it's good. <laughs> it's so good. At what age did you guys learn that like like Mountain Dew wasn't good? You know, I still drink Mountain Dew. I can't I, honestly. Oh, I'm I disgusted. Can't. If I have a sip, I, I didn't, like it a lot. I think it's, it's one of those things you have to build a tolerance for yeah. as a kid. Because if I have a sip, the sugar will make me well, throw up. It's Ooh. it's because I grew up. I had like a super healthy kale mom. Really, and we never. She had, must be so disappointed. We never had cheese. Heartbroken, dude. You guys didn't have cheese coming up. No, we didn't have sugar snacks. Or this is how you turn a kid. We gay. had we had no yeah. we had no like snack food in the house. <laughs> so you just started up. whoring out when you got to food. And uh, yeah, straight up when I got to college and I had my own bank account and no parental supervision, I was like, let's dibble dabble. Blew and I like started a getting balloon. into Tony. I started getting into the sugary stuff, and I've never looked back. It's so I fucking. Lo- I love so. I ain't look back, brother. I have a feeling that you had a gr- like your house was the snack house. No, oh, yeah, no, 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 I, no, no? Was, no, not a stability in my house. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> that to me, uh, if I walked into a home because I would go to friends' houses and if I would tell how their parents' marriage was based on how good their the pantry, uh, yeah. the pantry is. Yeah, sometimes dude. that's them. Something sometimes that's them dude, compensating. I would. Oh, okay, maybe. You know? no, but at least they're trying. You know, I would I, maybe over, I hit you, I'd but go there's over also going to be houses, and if they had like. Uh, Fruity Pebbles in the in the pantry. I'd be like, I'm never leaving. Yeah, oh, this dude. place is my. Oh, home. my mom. We we were a honey bunches of oats strictly. No, dude. We had we were granola. That's even worse. Yeah, that's horrible. They say we would, we would splurge thing. and get. Um, uh, my mom really liked uh, cinnamon toast crunch. Oh, CTC. But we'd get a box CTC, and, and it would, sounds like it had to last overseas. like a month. Dude, in the Navy, if you had a little box of CTC from the galley, you could fucking. I mean, I could make millions off. CTC. Of that. That's like cigarettes in prison, I, dude. Dude, cigarettes too in the Navy. I would buy a carton. I didn't smoke because when we, if we were out to sea for a certain amount of time and we ran out of cigarettes in the general store or whatever we called it, mm-hmm. your boy would start slinging. Kid was flipping birds, dude. Your boy would start a slinging. I love hustle like yeah, that. Speaking dude. of the military, I think I'm going to have to land this plane pretty soon. I think Air so. Force. I think no, we can, yeah. I, this, three o'clock, yeah. I, this feels like we're at or above an hour. No, so. we right are, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've been checking the time. So this will come out this Thursday. Scott Fillmore, thank you hey, so much. My brother, Scotty my Fillmore, friend, maybe. my colleague. Dude. I love everything about you. Let's all hold hands. And uh, shall we say, close eyes, say grace. In nomine Patri, Filotus Sancti, Amin. Did you just, is that a, dude, that could, he could have just summoned a demon. Well, you, got a little, you got a little Jewish with it. Right? Didn't you grow up Catholic? <laughs> yeah, I did, but, but they spoke English. Yeah. I don't they, know what kind of- You didn't do Latin mass or anything? No, what <laughs> kind of fucking church you think My we're dad did. To? My dad grew up going to Latin mass. Il nombre il padre il filetto santi, Amin. See, I feel like I'm watching an exorcist movie, dude, and it's scary. <laughs> what the fuck? Right, there's the power of Christ. You I'm need to say that to I'm someone bib- before I'm you bib- kill them. I'm a biblical scholar. Say that, wait, say that to me real quick. In nombre y le filio to santi ambria to se siente lieve. Ficara mujuta la picara. I'm just speaking fake Spanish at this point. Machila majuta la chia. La chia, brother. Anyways, this episode will come out on Thursday, Scott. So if you got anything to plug, please plug it out. Um, you got any shows this weekend that you'd like people to come out to see? All my shows are pre Thursday, unfortunately. Then I'm out of town again this weekend. So all right, uh, social plug that. Uh, I'm uh, just Scott Fillmore Comedy on on all platforms. Come hit me up. If you're in Austin, Scott performs all over town. Dude, save that drink. Save that drink, Tony. Save that drink, Tony. Oh, shit. All right. Austin performs. <laughs> Forms all over town in Austin. You guys are on a tight ship here. This has been a lot of fun. We do, we do. Tony, uh, we'll figure that out. I am... We've got a little technical difficulty. I will be hosting the drop-in at Sunset Strip this Friday. Get your tickets at laughhire.com. Come out. Uh, Always a good show. Always a good program at the Sunset Strip. It's South by Southwest. South by South. Beat those fucking festival idiots. All through this weekend? Yeah, I think it's like two weeks long, Jeez dude. It's a real Christ. pain. It's a real, it's a, it's a real crank in my dude, ass, dude. Yeah, it's kind of. I feel like a, uh, 
Right. I'm already like, I want you guys to go back. Yeah. I've already been here for yeah, six go months. Back I feel to like Ohio. They're making this open on Monday. Yes. Yeah, okay. It's disgusting. All right, All right. All right guys. Fun, guys. Wait, Tony, you got anything real quick? Yeah, come check me on the road with David Jolly. When this when this uh, goes out, we'll be in Indianapolis. Oh, really... that's right. I'm doing I'm doing shows with David Jolly oh. April 5th and 6th in uh, Salt Lake City, Utah. Come hang oh. out. Wise guys, my favorite club in America. It's so fun. I so haven't fun. performed there, but I will. I love them. We'll get you a show right, with boys. my boy. Thanks, Scotty. All right. Maddie. Peace.